Hello, today I would like to very quickly show you my setup. Over here I've got my Motorola Ion and with those great Ukrainian tactical pants from company MTAG, I'm carrying it without any holster and that's because the Motorola fits perfectly into that pocket and as you can see the lip is making totally seal so it's looking like it was meant for that but of course this is just a pure accident i'm carrying it with the screen facing outwards to get the antenna on that location and that's because when i do like this i'm not being poked by the antenna so this is a perfect location from a couple of months i'm carrying it like this and got a zero problems since i'm walking back i've got it in the wave on cloud so i can talk with my friends i do not have the orange button program so i'm using it to lit up screen i can see the battery and the channel that i'm currently in through the day i'm using lmr and i'm toggling with the channel knob selector between dispatch and the event channels Event channels are being used with your peers to communicate at short distance and to not block traffic on the dispatch channels and to not make anyone to not force everyone to listen to your conversation. So you go to event channel one and you can talk with your friends and you are not disrupting communication. Over there on my leg, I've got the Taser X26. The main reason why I've got it on my leg is because I want to train my muscle memory and if I want to use a non-lethal level of force, then I go with my leg, not with the firearm. And some people carrying him next to each other, but in a stressful situation, you can make a mistake and you will take out a lethal force or a non-lethal in situation that your life is in real danger so in my personal opinion this is the absolutely the best way to do it i hear a story that this taser x26 holster is hard to open but in reality you just go like this and you slide it upward and now you can take it out and deploy if you are aware by the dispatch that you are going to be in a dangerous situation you can always and do it in your car and go like this. So you've got absolutely extremely quick drone. For the Taser X26, I go with the extended battery and that's because it gives you a good grip. As you can see, all my three fingers are resting and with the short battery, you're going to grab it like that, which is uh, extremely awkward. Plus the extended magazine give you ability to store a spare cartridge in the bottom. Personally, I use my taser with a light and the laser side, but you can always change that by using that button. So if you would like to have a light discipline, you can make it a completely dark, except of those two dots that are going to tell you that it's being armed. Since we do not have cartridge installed, we can make a spark test and on the display you will see the seconds counting down. So this is how it presents and you go to the safety and you lock it in place. In form of a spare max I'm using this holder that was I believe designed for the phaser enforcer but it's going to fit both type of cartridges this is a oc powder that you can deploy from the phaser and from the taser they are interchangeable so this is my setup and i'm currently extremely happy with this motorola ion one of my best purchase so thank you very much for watching i hope you find it interesting See you next time and bye bye.